the reason why math is important in my job is that I have to deal with weight, force calculations, and applied load to a live to a live load scenario here in these venues. Nine out of ten venues require engineering an engineering study, and therefore I need to correctly answer and kind of basically talk them through it and basically work with engineers so that they will approve the show and therefore we can present the show in the said venue. The show is basically a template and it's while it's on paper in a CAD program it's, it's down to scale but when we present it in the arena it is a full one-to-one -one scale as in as you see here. Once we lay out the show in a one foot to one foot dimension then we can calculate the bridling and where all the, the scenic elements, the, map, the lighting elements, the sound elements all play within the venue. It's a lot of teamwork between myself and talking to, to the venue and to their engineers and to getting the final okay and then that is kind of like what you would view as studying for the exam. You do all your studying beforehand, you do all your paperwork, you get ready and the actual layout of the show to the actual execution of our work, that is the actual test that we're taking. The materials we use in our job consists of wire rope, uh, and the wire rope sizes are 3 8 for 1 tons, and half inch steel for 2 tons. We use various size shackles, which it's, we use to assemble these slings with, and we use these uh, shackles and slings to attach our chain hoist to the said venue, which is anywhere between 50 feet in the air and 110 feet in the air. I use these, these products. These are commonly available. You can get them at any college bookstore or online. This is pretty much a, this tells me a table. Most of these uh, numbers I still have in my head. These, uh, this tells me what the ratings are for each individual bit of hardware. And these are all engineer approved ratings. Uh, the back of the card, this particular card, has forces, force calculations. So you could literally take a scientific calculator or just about any calculator and figure out what you're doing as far as applied load intentions. The one that I most commonly use is what we call the cheat sheet. It's two and a half pages of Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals the c. And that, you, if you've noticed, some of these some of these uh, suspended items up here are not hung by a dead hang, they're hung by a bridle, and that's where that comes in very handy. And then this is this final item I always carry with me. It's kind of the rule book. It gives uh, ratings for various items that I'll be using day to day. Dry in best case scenario for the rigging mathematical part from start to finish could take three to four hours. Worst case scenario could take up to eight and other shows that I've been on have taken up to two days, depending on the difficulty of the arena. Study, work hard. Nothing good ever comes easy, nothing good ever comes cheap. There's always an expensive price to pay for quality. In college, there's theater programs, and many of them are accredited. They can get work through uh, their local uh, International Alliance of Theatrical and Stage Employees, uh, a union that's based in the, in the United States and Canada. Um, and that's, that's how I got started in all this. To be honest, I was terrible in mathematics. <gasps> My uh, math teacher in the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade of Mr. Robert Stierstorfer would be astounded, just shocked, that I'm sitting here right now. Yeah, I hope he does too. It's be like, Mr. Stierstorfer, I did okay. Um, but um, I was just mar I was fairly good. I was not as good with algebra, but I did like geometry because of the shapes and the way things formed. So I, I think that was my calling.